Right, so hello and welcome to another 90 Day Fiancé video on Arthur TV. Today we're going to be looking at the story of Jenny and Samit. So in the first video, Jenny revealed that she had been catfished by a 30 year old man from India called Samit, but she had been talking to him for so long that she decided to give him a chance and ended up falling in love with him anyway. Then in part two, after six years of talking to each other, Jenny decided that it was finally time to move to India to be with Samit. But things weren't as easy as Jenny had hoped. Samit had been worried about what his family would think of his relationship with an older American woman, so he decided to keep it a secret from them. Jenny came to India on a six month visa, hoping that it would give the couple enough time to get married so that she would have the right to live and work in the country on a permanent basis. But when they decided they were finally ready to get married, they discovered that to do so, a notice would have to be posted to Samit's home address, where his family live. And because Samit still wasn't willing to tell his family about Jenny, their plans fell through. With Samit's decision to keep the relationship a secret causing the couple so many problems, Jenny finally confronted Samit and told him that he needed to make a decision, her or his family. And that was when Samit revealed to the camera the real secret. And that was that he's already married. Today we're going to be looking at the devastating impact the news had on Jenny, the intense family feud that followed and what happened to Jenny and Samit's relationship once she found out the truth. But rather than Samit having the chance to tell Jenny one on one, something much more dramatic happened. Yeah, well, I mean what happened was worse than anything I could have ever imagined. It's like, it's like you're having a nightmare and you wake up and it's true. It's really happening. It's not a nightmare. It's really happening. That's what it felt like. What ended up happening was completely unexpected, so unfortunately, the cameras weren't around to film it. Instead, the producers got a phone call from Jenny, who was absolutely hysterical, and rushed over to find out what had happened. He had just come here in the morning, and his phone started ringing. He looked at his phone, and he's like, oh, you know, and he put his phone out. I said, what, who's calling you? And he went out the door, and he said, Jenny, lock the door. Two minutes later, there was a knock on my door. I opened it, and there was a man standing there with Samit. And he said, hello, Jenny, how are you? I'm Samit's wife's father. Jenny said that she was shocked and confused, and literally within minutes, her apartment was full with Samit's family and Samit's wife's family. She locked herself in the bedroom, and when she heard a crashing noise outside the door, came out to find Samit in a fighting stance being pinned against the wall by his cousin. So when Samit said at the bar that he would fight for Jenny every single time, he wasn't lying. They asked him, do you love Jenny? And he said, yes, I love Jenny. He said it to everybody. Yes, I love Jenny. That's what happened. After the restaurant conversation in the last video, where Samit said that if his family found out about him and Jenny, and said to choose them or choose Jenny, that he'd have to choose his family, seeing Samit actually have the courage in that moment to stand up and say that he loved her must have been such a relief for Jenny to hear. Unfortunately though, Samit's wife's family didn't take it so well. And then they were leaving and they took him, they took Samit out of here, they took him away from here, and I haven't seen him since. <laughs> I'm just here in this apartment, left here by myself, and I don't know what to do. I'm like, I'm in India by myself, without Samir, what do I do, what do I do? I'm scared. I gave up everything I came to India, we did, we did everything. This was 100% one of the hardest scenes to watch out of any TLC show I've ever seen. It's hard to feel much empathy towards couples in these programs because in so many cases, you just look at the situations of both people and it's so easy to see why they got into the relationship in the first place. So when it inevitably falls apart and one of the pair is left heartbroken, it's kind of like, what did you expect to happen? But with Jenny and Samit, I feel like it's different. Like this isn't Samit moving to the US, securing the green card and running. Like I feel like this is a genuine couple who just have some serious problems. After Samit got taken away, it was a little while before anyone heard anything from him. When he finally got in touch with the producers, he said that he had been held at his family home for the past five days, and that they had forbidden him from having any contact with Jenny. Today, he told producers that he was being allowed to visit his friend Neeraj, and finally explained to the cameras what was going on. I've been married for two and a half years. I was dating Jenny, and my parents had set up an arranged marriage. And I barely knew the girl before I married to her. Many times it happens that I want to tell a Jenny about this, but I feel like that if I'm gonna tell her that Jenny, I'm married, then she was like she gonna leave me alone. 
I genuinely just didn't know what to think after this. On the one hand, he obviously should have told Jenny, no doubt about it. I mean, if you're dating someone and you find yourself engaged to someone else, it's just common courtesy to mention it. But on the other hand, it really doesn't sound like he had much say in it. I think when we heard at the end of the last video that he was actually married, we all thought he was just having an affair with Jenny and the whole thing was a lie. But I think it being an arranged marriage changes things. I mean, although he handled the situation absolutely terribly, he didn't exactly put himself in the situation to begin with. It was also quite sad hearing him say that he was scared that Jenny would leave him alone. It just shows that he feels alone in his marriage, like he doesn't see it like a real relationship. And let's be honest here, once he was forced into the marriage, if he had told Jenny about it, there's no way she would have come to India. I mean, don't get me wrong here, he obviously should have told her because it was her decision to make, but I just can empathise a bit with him here. His friend Neeraj, however, wasn't quite so empathetic. And how's Jenny? I didn't talk to her. And I'm, one more thing I'm worried about, if somebody goes here and try to hurt her. It's a big mess, bro. And I've told you, I've told you that it's going to be a big mess. You always wanted to go with Jenny anyway. Now look at you, look at your face, you can't even face it. It's funny hearing they even had conversations about it. I just want to know how Samit actually saw it playing out. Like, how is he ever going to go from being married to being with Jenny? I mean, it might have worked if he had got divorced before Jenny had arrived, but she's on a limited visa. Everything has to happen before that runs out, and there's just no way he was going to get divorced and remarried in a couple of months. I mean, even if a divorce could happen that quickly, the speed isn't the problem. His wife and her family agreeing to it is. A marriage should not get, you know, break here in India. That's what. Everyone thinks when you want to get rid of any marriage, it's going to be a big drama and of course it is now. My father-in-law asked me that, tell me, will you gonna stay with my daughter? If you say yes, everything we're gonna fix it. Everything will be happy. And you can still know the police came to my doorstep. In India, having an affair isn't a crime, but the reason he can be arrested is because his in-laws can falsely accuse him of committing a crime. And when that happens, with India's judicial system, there only tends to be one outcome. They can say that he used to beat his wife, he wasn't good, he's always drunk. I don't know how they're gonna come up with. I'm just saying that if they'll do this, then Sumit has to go behind the bars. It's such a messed up situation. It's literally a choice between being in a marriage he doesn't want to be in or going to jail. And it doesn't really look like there's a way out for Samit. Also, they're not only just threatening him. When his wife's family stormed the apartment, they threatened Jenny too. They said they're going to lock up Samit and they're going to lock her up with him. And now they're even threatening to go after his family. They will lie to get my family also in trouble just to unpressurize me. So I stay married with my wife. They can't do anything about Jenny, but they can do a lot about you. I'd rather be in jail instead of being in marriage with I am in. I want to live with Jenny. I don't really understand this from the wife's point of view. If your husband really wants to leave you, is it really worth threatening him to stay? Like, wouldn't you rather divorce and then have the chance of finding someone who makes you happy and actually wants to be with you? You'd think she's probably not happy in this relationship either, wouldn't you? I guess it's just a big cultural difference. In India, divorce is seen as such a more serious thing than it is in the US. In the US, around 50% of marriages end in divorce, whereas in India, less than 1% do. So how Summit's wife would be seen in the community after the divorce, and the shame it would bring her family are probably what are driving them to make such serious threats to keep them together. It would be so interesting to hear his wife's side of the story and get her family's perspective on everything. But unsurprisingly, when the producers reached out to her and her family, they said they didn't want anything to do with the show. Nobody else should force me to be in a marriage. This is the way marriage is like in India. People do accept that, but not me. It's my decision. I want to be with Jenny. It's my right to be happy. A few days later, the time finally came when the families let him go and he could finally see Jenny again. Oh, hi, baby. Oh, my God. God. Why did this happen? <laughs> it's been almost a week since I've seen Sami. I'm happy to see him again. But... I need him to explain to me everything and what happened. 
Seeing him smoking that cigarette, you just know he's stressed out, don't you? I'm actually really surprised at how calm and civil Jenny's being. I really wouldn't have been surprised if she had got on the first flight back to the US and just never contacted him again. Or just absolutely lost it at him the second he walked through the door. I thought you loved me. I'm th I thought I'm the one you want to be with. I'm the one you love. I'm the one that you chose. What happened? It's not like that I want to marry. It's not like that I want to be with her. I got married. And after that, I try. Didn't work out. I think that was at the point when he should have done something about it. When he realised that his marriage wasn't working and that he wanted to be with Jenny, that was the point when he needed to start thinking about getting a divorce. Even if you do sympathise with him, Samit was really selfish by not even thinking about what effect all of this would have on Jenny. Do you feel that I love you? Yes. I do feel that you love me, yes. But was is this fair to me? Was this fair to me? I had a job, I had a car, had an apartment, I had furniture, I have everything in America. What am I going back to now? What am I going back to now, Sami? My daughter's couch. I don't even have an apartment to go back to. As much as this was entirely Samit's fault, I think she was so silly to risk everything for this. I get that she was in love with Samit and people do all kinds of crazy things for love, but selling everything you own and risking your entire life savings when you're in your 60s for someone you've never met before and has already lied to you in a pretty big way is just nuts. It's all my fault, man. I, I did wrong. I do realise that. I thought like once she will be here, then I'll talk to her and then I'll tell her, Jenny, I'm married. But uh, still, I, I keep on postponing, like just being, you can say that, let me enjoy one more peaceful day with her. And now I am, I'm paying for that. And so is Jenny. She doesn't want to leave, but her visa has run out. And having spent her life savings on living in India, waiting to get married so she can get a job, her bank account has run dry. It's okay. I still love you. I don't, I don't, I don't blame you for anything, okay? I chose to come here too. And this has been the best six months of my life. If you really want to be with me, you really want us to be together, please take care of all the things. Everything you need to take care of, please take care of everything. Don't just... <laughs> I want everything the same. I'm feeling so sad, so upset. I'm feeling so emotional, I don't want her to go. I feel like that my best day's time is now over. I don't think there are many people out there that can get catfished by someone, get into a relationship with them for six years, find out they got secretly married, lose all their savings waiting for a marriage that was never going to happen, and then still say they don't blame them for anything. I mean, the catfishing was borderline forgivable, but the rest of it is just ridiculous. He has put her through so much. I feel like I've been pretty generous to submit in this video, probably more so than he actually deserves, but Jenny is one of the most forgiving people I have ever seen. I don't want Jenny to leave my house. We were making it at home for two people living happily. Together. My mistake. Oh, I actually feel so bad for Samir. It's so hard to see him this sad. These melancholic interview scenes are actually making me feel quite emotional. After some of the other couples on this series as well, it's so nice to see someone actually own up to their mistakes and take responsibility for them. Samit's brother was waiting in a car outside for him to make sure that he wouldn't go to the airport with Jenny and end up flying back to the US with her. So the couple had to say goodbye at the apartment. And with the taxi having arrived, now was the time for their final goodbyes. I had the best six months of my life. And I don't want anybody to think that I made the biggest mistake of my life because he made me happy and I, I wasn't happy before. He's a good guy. Just please everybody know he's a good guy. It's not his fault. It's just, his, 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 he's Indian and he's in Indian culture. He can't go against his parents. Just everybody believe that we love each other because it's true. I promise you, it's true, true, true. We're not lying to anybody. 
I don't think many people can watch this and think that they're lying about how they feel about each other. But being in love with Jenny was one of the few things that Summit was actually telling the truth about. It's such a shame because I actually really like Summit as a guy and I was really rooting for him and Jenny. He just messed up big time here, didn't he? Although Summit isn't giving up just yet. Although Jenny has to leave, Summit has realised over the past few weeks that he's not happy in the marriage he's in. And he has his sights set on making things right. Now she is going. Now I have to just make this clear that I don't want to be with my wife. I want Jenny back in my life. And it won't be easy, I know that. But if I come this much far, I need to take more steps to get her back. You know, when I finished watching the episodes for this video, that was it. Jenny leaving to go back to the US and Sumit staying in India. But weirdly, even though this season finished months ago, just a couple of days ago, TLC confirmed that there is going to be more Jenny and Sumit. It's now been five months since Sumit last saw Jenny and it's been a rough time for him, but Jenny has been supporting him the whole way. Thankfully, Sumit and his wife's family have come to a mutual agreement to terminate the marriage and file for divorce. Unfortunately, because his wife's parents spent so much on the marriage in the first place, it's going to cost Sumit $20,000 to pay them back under the agreement. But it means that Jenny and Sumit can finally be together. The episodes following their journey to marriage will be out soon, so if you want to follow along with the story or watch more videos like this one, feel free to subscribe down below. Until then, links to my Instagram, Twitter, Twitch and other social media will be down below. Unfortunately, that is all we have time for today, so as always, thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.